Hi there, welcome to our video tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to deal with contact forms using one entry headless CMS. Whether you're new to this or already know a bit, we'll walk you through the whole process. By the end, you'll be able to easily handle contact forms on your website. Let's get started. Open the project dashboard. Go to setting and open the attribute tab and create a new set of attributes by writing its name, its marker and select its type and click on create. Now open its setting and add attributes you want to use in your contact form. And you can set the validation rule for each attribute you have created. Go to Managing Forms to create new form. Write its name, its marker, and click on Add. Form is created successfully. Now go to Form Fields and select the set of attributes we have created in Setting tab. We can see all attributes here. Go to Data Sent by Form and we can also see all attributes here. Go to Pages and create a new Contact Us page. Write its name, URL, and name of the menu item for the page. And go to Forms tab and select the form we have created. I think we have completed all steps here. Now I am going to integrate one entry with React application I have already created. Go to oneentry.cloud. Navigate to get started. Open NPM tab. Now click on installation. Copy the command. And run it in the terminal of VS Code. One entry is installed successfully. Again, go to One Entry Guide and open Usage tab and copy the command. And paste it here. Remove the data for now. We need to add our project link here. Just go to Project Dashboard and copy the project link and paste it. We also add App Token here. Go to Settings Open App Tokens tab. Write its name and click on Create. Click on View button and copy the App Token. And paste it. Now again go to Guide page, Open Forms tab, and find Get Forms by Marker. OK, copy this command. We need to create a function using useEffect hook. Set Dependency Array. And create a asynchronous function. And paste the command here. Now we have to add Form Marker here. Go to Project Dashboard Open Managing Forms and write this marker in the command. We also need to add forms in define one entry function. Write console.log into values, call the above function, save the changes and go to the page. Right click and inspect the page, go to console. We are receiving data correctly. Create use state hook to store data and use it wherever you want. Write set data into value.attributes to update the state variable data with the attributes obtained from the fetch data. Write console.log into data to see the result of use state hook. So, we are receiving the array of objects. Now we use this data in our form.
I am using map method to create form. Set the name attribute. Placeholder. We can see placeholders in input fields. Now set the type of input tag. It is required to store the values of all input fields. Initialize a state variable called formData using the useState hook with an initial state object containing empty strings for the keys, name, email, and comments. Create a function handle change to handle input changes by extracting the name and value properties from the event object E and then updating the form data state with a new value for the specific input field indicated by name. I am writing console.log to see whether it is working or not, and call this function on on change event. write something in input fields, so it's is working perfectly. Create a submit button. Our form is completed now. We can add or delete input fields of this form from one entry headless CMS. Let's add another attribute. Write its name. Macker. Select type and click on create. Go to page and refresh. Here we can see another field is added in our form. Delete the attribute and see the results. Now I am going to send the form data to one entry dashboard. That include name, email, and comments. Go to guide page and open form data tab. Copy this code snippet. Create a synchronous function. To prevent the default behavior of the button, we need to call prevent default. On the event object passed to the click handler function. I am wrapping the asynchronous operations in try blocks. If an error occurs during the execution of the try block, it will be caught in the corresponding catch block, where we can handle or log the error. Now paste the code snippet and replace the test with the marker of the contact form. Just remove this data and create an array containing objects, each representing a piece of form data. Each object has two properties, the marker, the value. Now go to Project Dashboard, open Settings, and go to Attributes tab. Open the form, and we use these markers in our code. We need to create three objects for our data. Replace this marker value with email and this with comments. Write email. Write comments. Write console.log values to see what we are receiving. Now call the function on on click event in button. We are going to check the results whether it's working or not. It shows some error. I think we have to declare the form data into the define one entry function. 
Now it will work. Fill the form and click on Submit button. It shows error again. This is due to a misspelling of one of the markers. I misspelled the name marker. Now it should work. Fill the form again and submit the form. It is working. Let's check whether we are receiving data in our one entry dashboard or not. Go to Managing Form. Open the form. Open this tab. We can see we are receiving the data. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any issue, mention it in comments.